to all of you now the magnetic dipole moment of revolving electron see when the electron is revolving around the nucleus then the motion of that charged particle will constitute a current so we can treat it as a current loop and we discuss this thing any current loop produce the magnetic field so here if we consider the revolving electron as a current loop then definitely it will produce the magnetic field at the center of it and now we already discussed in the previous theory that current carrying loop when produce the magnetic field at the center then we can consider it as magnetic dipole so we can calculate its magnetic dipole moment now see suppose as shown in this figure the electron is revolving in the orbit having radius equal to r with respect to the positively charged nucleus here at any instant the velocity of the electron that will be in the tangential direction now first of all we have to calculate the current constituted by this revolution of electron so for revolving electron if we consider any point then we can say this thing the amount of charge passing through that particular point when one revolution of electron is completed then that is equal to e now current i that is q by t so as per that we can write the amount of charge flowing that is e and time taken to complete one revolution that is capital t now electron is revolving with a speed v in the orbit having radius equal to r so when one revolution is completed the distance covered that is equal to the circumference of the orbit 2 pi r so we can write the time taken by electron to complete one revolution that is its period equal to 2 pi r by v now here in this equation if we replace this capital t by 2 pi r by v then resultantly we will get the equation of the current constituted by this revolving electron that is e v upon 2 pi r clear up to this one now magnetic moment m that is i into a so a that is the area of the orbit that is pi r square now substitute the equation of i which we derived earlier so that is ev upon 2 pi r into pi r square so pi pi cancelled 1 r will be cancelled so magnetic moment that is half ev r okay now here multiply and divide by mass of electron so we can write m that is equal to e upon 2 me into me vr but in standard 11th we studied this thing angular momentum l that is mvr so we can replace this m e v r as angular momentum of the electron so magnetic moment that is e upon 2 me into l l that is the angular momentum so here in the vector form we can write vector m that is equal to minus e upon 2 me vector l why here we introduce negative sign because if we find out the direction of the magnetic moment and the direction of angular momentum then both are mutually opposite 
and therefore here we have to introduce this negative sign now m by l that is equal to e upon 2 me if we substitute here the value of e 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 and mass of electron that is 9.1 into 10 raised to minus 31 kilogram then we will get this particular ratio that is 8.8 into 10 raised to 10 coulomb per kilogram and that is called gyromagnetic ratio for electron clear up to this one now see m that is equal to e upon 2 me into l this is orbital magnetic moment now l the angular momentum that is equal to nh upon 2 pi as per bohr's hypothesis so at present just you remember this thing later on in the chapter of atoms we will discuss this thing in detail at the present just you have to remember this thing the angular momentum of the electron in orbit that will be in the integer multiple of h upon 2 pi so we can write that is nh upon 2 pi where h that is planck's constant its value that is 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second now substitute this value of l here so m that is equal to e upon 2 me into nh upon 2 pi now see here in this equation if we take n equal to 1 then we can write m that is equal to e upon 2 me into h upon 2 pi now substitute the values e that is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 h that is 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 2 into this to 4 pi that is 3.14 me that is 9.1 into 10 raised to minus 31 so finally you will get the orbital magnetic moment and that is for ground state because here n equal to 1 and in chemistry you studied this thing this n is called orbital quantum number so your answer will come to 9.27 into 10 raised to minus 24 ampere meter square and this is called bohr magneton this is called bohr magneton so bohr magneton that is nothing but the orbital magnetic moment of the electron in ground state clear to all of you